This is Northwest Trains, and this is my first summer unboxing video. So it's um, everything I've collected since the last May Bank holiday, so June and uh, the start of this month. Uh, it's mainly rolling stock, but we do have uh, something different here. So we'll just start off with this bag of stuff here, which is um, mostly from Carnforth models and Hattons. So we'll start off with these two. Now I actually thought uh, Hattons had started supplying uh, or um, selling Backman products again because in their new stock popped up these as well as various other things from Backman. But um, that was just seemed to be a one-off so I presume it's ex-shop stock from somewhere else. But these are a good price and these are £27 each and the cheapest I've seen these for is something like £50 or more nowadays so I was very pleased with them. So I'm hopefully going to build the rake of them eventually. So just uh, so you know what they are. So the steel strip carrier and the DB Schenker livery. Because most of my wagons are in the old EWS colour. So we just get one out to have a look. It does look a bit bright so I might have to dull them out with a bit of weathering. But I did see videos on YouTube of these brand new looking wagons mixed with the old EWS ones. I thought they were quite nice little contrast. So um I might end up doing that, have a mixed train, new and old. So, pretty basic. See a bit of fine detail in here, a few little parts. The writing's quite clear as well. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera or not. We'll try, get it in focus. I don't think it's having it at the moment. Metal wheels, the usual. I mean, these wagons, as nice as they are, they shouldn't be 50 odd pound each. So, you know, you're talking in the hundreds just to get one train going before you even bought the engine. But anyway, and um, just in case you missed, there's a bag of extra detail parts there. And um, I the American sound knuckle couplers, I think they're called. I use them on the uh, coal hopper wagons, to be honest. They're quite good, really, I think. That's the second one. Right, so sticking with Hattons, we have got this uh, Mark 1 composite in the chocolate and cream colour. Now, uh, because I've got the Mogul, I thought I'd build up a rake of these because I've got the uh, Crimson Cream. And uh, I do prefer the backing coaches to the Hornby, no particular reason. I think mean, they're pretty much the same, but. I've always had the uh, the back and ones, and that's like a close coupling rod there as well if you're keeping them permanently together. So you can see the writing there on the glass, first class. Um, and you've also got the logo on as well, which a lot of these don't have. Right, again, this one's actually from Hattons as well, I think, comes to think of it. Uh, restaurant car. Just have a little quick look at this again. This one the box looks a bit older, but as long as the coach itself's all right, that's all that bothers me. I mean, this one was twenty-five pound from Hattons in the pre-owned section. The other one was twenty-one pounds, I think. So it's not too bad. So there's does tend to be a the variation on prices sometimes sometimes they're really well priced sometimes they look really expensive so um but it is worth a look on the pre-owned section each day see what comes up nice bit of detail in there and the little rails going across it's the end of the coach there so yeah i've got three of these now i'll get the third one out now that was from uh, carnforth models as, uh, as well as i think the rest of the stuff was pretty much i know these were from Patterns as well. 
they were just a pound each a bag so I thought they'd go for the narrow gauge layout so we got the um, dummy point turnover levers kits these are all Pico buffer stops buffer stops so we've got two packets of each there right so this is from my trip to Carnforth yesterday if you have a point lever as you can see we trip to Carnforth yesterday so that would be Friday the 2nd uh, you got five wagons I had to restrain myself from buying any more engines but I basically got three of these I thought I couldn't argue for that price, £7.50. It's hard to get a wagon now for less than £20 normally. But if you're ever in the area, if you want to uh, get the train up to Carnforth to do a bit of filming or whatever, uh, I'll pop into the shop and have a look. There's all sorts there, second hand and new. Different scales. Again, I think it's a simple enough wagon, but I thought I'm building different questions of wagons up for the heritage lines just to have demonstration goods trains and I thought that would go well with some of the industrial tank engines I've got the little packets or the little Andrew Barclays again simple enough metal wheels very light but you've got some nice detail there you can make out the writing as well so we've got three of those so just so you can see what uh, wagon it is it's an ore hopper and I also got two of these for £10 each. So these are 12 tonne British Rail plywood vent van, box size. So um, I'll do a little short clip of them running on the layout later. And um, the one I'm most excited about, again this is my Carnforth models, I sorted this out for me. It's just very nice... Uh, live steam loco for the garden railway and uh, I did ask him uh, a while ago if you see any uh, at a reasonable price let me know because the roundhouse ones I was looking at were well over a thousand pound and uh, like twelve fifteen hundred pound and this was uh, less than half of that so just take it out and it's a brand I've never even heard of before it's uh, Regner or Ragnar however you pronounce it and it's called a lumberjack loco so uh, that's the instructions for it i think the bloke got it as a kit because that's the instructions for building it uh this came with it as well so it's basically a um, radio control kit for it so i might attempt that one day so i'll just see if we can get the loco out now just the tops come a bit loose there we go that's gas gas fired and uh there's an awful lot of weight to it as well it's a bit like my basic uh, mammoth loco with um got your lever so that's in neutral front and reverse either side you just take the top off here so that's how easy it is to get access to the inside so we got a little gauge there that's where we pump the gas into so that's uh, the valve that releases the gas into the burner a regulator i think that's where we top up the oil and uh, i can even fill up the water through there while the loco is running so yeah it's a really nice kit and uh can't thank him enough for finding it for me it really suits my route as well because it's a slow runner or slowish it can run quite quick when it wants to um but it suits my layout perfectly because it's only small so uh i'll do a little running clip of that later on and i'll probably feature it in a different video at some point but yeah just uh Something for you to keep an eye out for if you're into the garden railways. So um, that's it for now. Uh, I'll include, it, like I say, running clip of the loco running on the garden and um, some of the rolling stock going on the layout. But for now, that's it. And um, thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye out for the next video.